I'm here with American comedian Kurt Metzger. Kurt Metzger most recently was crossing state lines and telling jokes in Kenosha, Wisconsin. There yeah. weren't any reports of violence. Uh, My but, mic sucks on top of that, too. There's a lot of issues with me. Get uh, back on his mic. He seems a little softer for suddenly. Oh, I tried to turn it down. Because no, no, don't, blowout. don't, don't. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. Journalist Alex Berenson sues Twitter after being banned for saying COVID vaccines don't stop transmission. I saw that when this happened. I remember when this happened. Uh, In August, Twitter permanently banned journalist Alex Berenson for questioning the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccines. He has responded by filing a lawsuit claiming the platform violated, among other things, California law. Now, YouTube has all their own rules about uh, uh, how much truth you're allowed to talk about COVID. Uh, and they say you have to add all kinds of context. So I got in trouble for saying the same thing from YouTube. They said I had to provide context. Uh, I said that the vaccines don't stop transmission. They don't. Uh, they said I had to say that they help to reduce it. Um, I, just, I just but, got done watching a Joe Rogan clip with no context. That's all over all these platforms. They took the context out of the Joe Rogan. That's thing. right. They took the context totally out. Totally fine. Of, yeah. Yeah. So uh, they also said you can't say that uh, the vaccines don't stop you from getting it, even though that's what they're saying. I have to say that the vaccines do slow. They do uh, slow the spread. No, that they, they do reduce your they chances. You. Yeah. They reduce your chances of contracting it. Now, Fauci has recently said that uh, no matter if you're vaccinated or not, not everybody that you know is likely to get COVID. So, again, I don't know if the YouTube is now changing their guidelines or what. I don't know, because Fauci is. Uh, but it's, so that's why this is so it seems like what that guy said was correct. And. But that's not really why he's suing them. Watch do you find out what, because he's talking about the law. Watch the law that he says. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Berenson has earned a name for himself for criticizing measures and the vaccines. The former New York Times reporter was permanently banned from Twitter after a post about the fact that vaccinated people can get and transmit the virus. Again, YouTube guidelines state that... Uh, even if you're fully vaccinated, you can transmit and get the virus, but it does reduce it. That's what YouTube's guidelines are, and that's what I'm making you aware of. In the complaint, his lawyers wrote, Mr. Berenson's claim that the COVID-19 vaccines do not stop infection or transmission of COVID-19 was true at that time and is true now. Now, that's what I was saying on the show, too. That is true, but they said I had to, I had to provide more context. Okay. It, which I just provided previous. It is undisputed that vaccinated persons can contract and spread COVID-19, the lawsuit adds. That is technically true. But the suit's main argument, and here's the big thing, right? So the science isn't the part. That's the main thing. Here's the main thing. The suit's main argument is not about the accuracy of the tweet. In the 70-page lawsuit, they argue that Twitter should not ban or censor such statements because... It fits the definition of a common carrier and says that the law of the state of California requires common carriers to serve everyone. So you don't get to pick and choose who you're like the phone company can't pick and choose who they let use the phone lines. Twitter's role in public debate in the 21st century resembles that of the telegraph in the 19th century. The complaint argues. Twitter banned Berenson days after President Joe Biden asked social media companies to crack down on vaccine misinformation as a goodwill gesture. <laughs> Good tidings to all. Yeah. <laughs> the suit contends that Berenson has a uniquely viable claim that Twitter acted on behalf of the federal government in censoring and barring him from access to its platform. I really hope this 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 is important lawsuit i would like to get this guy on and maybe his lawyer we should try to that malcolm let's see if that we could get our friend from the new york times if he's willing to slum it 
Well, now that he's been the victim of censorship and deplatforming, I bet he feels a kinship to us maybe a little bit. So maybe we'll be able to get this guy out. I, I would like to talk to him and his lawyer. Let's, let's write that down. Uh, and let's keep tabs on this. I want to keep tabs on the John Stossel lawsuit where Facebook admitted their fact checks aren't real fact checks. Hey, fa Facebook ju uh, just fact checked the, the British Journal of Medicine and they said they're lying. <laughs> Wait. Yes, I'm not kidding. They did a Facebook fact check. It's that lead stories. Remember the guy who was hitting on me? Remember that guy? That guy, that guy was trying to get in my pants as he was trying to fact check me from lead stories. Oh, yes. Do you remember that? Yes. What? Yeah. what? yeah, this guy was, uh, they had fact checked me and I wanted to get the guy, the, the, the journalist who fact checked me on my show. And they said I had to talk to his editor. So I'm talking to his editor and the editor was hitting on me. He's like, you're very handsome. You have all the distance that with your blue eyes. And I'm like, what in the F is going on with you? I, I swear to God that happened. <laughs> we had, I, I, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, they, this guy, they're, they're trying to fact check the British Journal of Medicine, that same guy. Well, hilarious. Anyway, uh, so fact checkers are, they're, they're, they're it's going to, they're, they're becoming a punchline. Thank God. Finally, that term fact checker is going to become a punchline. Don't you think, Kurt? I don't know, man. I, I think, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of, uh, his right mic now, sounds just, low. Is his mic low? Wait, is it too low now? All right. So yeah, he doesn't I, I think, need to adjust during the show. Yeah. Don't no, adjust. I, I put it back. I, I think all the people that like this is all for the benefit of people that didn't know what was going on that are going to, that are shocked as they learn it. Like a whole bunch of people that, know about how this works think it's great it works that way they have nothing in their head except blind i yeah. want my enemy in my head destroyed who actually is probably me but <laughs> I, yeah i need them ruined at all costs no matter principle whatever take my rights as long as you can't talk i'll give up my own rights they, i've heard somebody literally say that by the way in my my favorite is the old uh the oldest boy i hate that joe rogan well why don't you stop listening to him i don't ever listen to him Okay. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. And the, the less people listen to Joe Rogan, the more they hate him. Isn't that funny? Hey, we're doing live stand up shows in Los Angeles February 5th, February 12th, February 18th, February 20th. We're in Philadelphia. And then February 26th, back here in Los Angeles in Studio City at our 60 seat theater. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all tickets. And while you're there, become a premium member. Get access to all our premium content. Thank you.